Pontiac. And I wrecked your brains a little bit there. So anyway, we're back. Um, you guys can pick that one up on Newgrounds. It's free. I found it when I was trying to look for tracks that I could use for the very first Olay video. Um, actually, no. Yeah, for the very first Olay video. Because the music that Weasel sent me didn't work out. I remember that. And then, uh, yeah, with the second Olay video that I never actually got to posting. Because I did not know how to use... Um, all the video editing stuff I needed to. All right, so now we're on the temple grounds. It is already on impossible difficulty. We're just short of being in the uh, I can see you difficulty, which is brutally difficult by comparison. Like the, the difficulty levels start to just blend together after this. Because it's just like, oh, it's hard? It's about to get harder. Oh, thanks, Christ. Oh, great, fantastic. That worked out for being nothing. Not the bees! There we go, and the bees are all wiped out because ceremonial daggers are kind of OP like that. Not oh, great. Temple guard. Okay, so there's no teleporter there. I'm just gonna go over this way. The, high, the longer you can stay up, usually, the uh, is, is a good strategy for finding these things. Uh, for finding the teleporters, and I've explained this before, it's just because it's harder to go up than it is to go down. Down's really easy to go to. So, the higher, the longer you're able to stay up, the longer that you're able to check the upstairs, and, uh, you know, just check those harder to reach places a little bit earlier. Kill one, kill one, kill one. <laughs> Goes into the other. I have to admit, this is a lot easier than it was with the sniper. The sniper trying to kill these things is a pain in the ass. Because you have no real way of doing it. You have to time your shots, and your shots are valuable. Like, you don't have all that time uh, in the world to really snipe them out, so... Usually doesn't end up working out right, very well. There you go. So those are all dead. Moving along. We got plenty of money. I really hope that we can find, like, a gold chest or something and have enough money to actually spend on it. It's not here. Oh, good. Awesome play dudes. And there's no exit down there. Fantastic. So we have to go out this way. Let's go. Lol, that Wicker Man reference. Wicker Man reference. I don't recall making one. So I don't know if you're talking about in the game. In which case, you'll have to tell me what it is. Because I actually don't know what you're talking about when you say Wicker Man. Oh, uh, hi, everybody. Just rolling towards me. Jesus. A bunch of sword wielding commandos over here. Oh, ooh, hi. Chest. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, another monster dude. Like, don't get me wrong, I like getting my life upon killing stuff, especially when I've got all the stuff that helps me kill things, but come on. Another chest went on. Oh, sweet! Rusty jetpack. That allows me to do a lot more with my uh, right foot than most people realize. I'm Turn blast and dodge most of these uh, bees. Backdraft. Okay, I need to kill these things off before they get too numerous. They're getting so close to dying. There we go. That's all I needed. That's made things a little easier. There we go. The sad part is that none of your dash's extra effects uh, work on these guys. Like, you got the damage, which is fine, but you don't end up doing all the cool uh, stunning and pushing and all that stuff that you really want to get out of your dashes. So. At this point, I'm going for number of, of items. Quality of items is only going to go so far, and I've got a couple of quality items in the Ceremonial Dagger and the Tesla Foil as well. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Uh, let's save up for that 500. Oh, Jesus, hi. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, wow! I didn't realize it was dodge. Let the brain do some work. Backdraft in there. Drive around. Some damage. Well, I'm Tesla coiling two individuals. Ow, I was thinking a little bit more damage than I would have liked. Kill 
one. Took way more damage than I needed to. And now we're, we've got bees on our ass again. We really should get to finding that teleport as quickly as possible. So we're going to go do that now. The rest of this be damned. Oh, there it is. No problem. So there's the gold chest. I was not going to get to that, I don't think. Uh, if there's a way for me to get up there, let's find out. Nope, I was barely not going to be able to make it. That's kind of depressing. That's fine. Okay, so we got the teleporter up and running. Now we need to survive this ass muncher. Okay, we're getting the hell out of here. Uh, immediately. Oh, and we are definitely going to pick up this one. Why didn't I pick the ones before? Like, those mines are actually great for uh, kiting. More useful than the brain, I have a feeling. Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, did you see that guy? That was pretty cool. So we managed to see these damn there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not the bees! Look at those bees go. Uh, what? Are you kidding? My right click just does not go through them. My right bumper does not do anything to these guys. Guy. Yep, it really doesn't hit. Yeah, I got a level up. You know, if I'm lucky, I might actually be able to farm up a decent enough amount of money to. Right. Of course I'm not. <laughs> Kill that thing. Hopefully, I can deal some damage to these guys. I'm just running around kiting these guys as best as I can at this point. They are following me in a big long string, which is nice and all, but. Got some damage, got some dodging off, and run away. Run for my life. Meanwhile, my laser drone is proving to be probably the best 900 gold investment I've had in a long time. Look at me go. I like this pack of sick moves, bro. And drop that down. And watch the fireworks! <laughs> oh, okay. And the spider just might throw up the But that was pretty cool. Thank you, those mines. Bro. That worked out nicely. Now developing another large following. This is okay. I really wish that those blasts had contact. Physical, actual contact on them. Oh, a bit more of these things. Blast them. It's not enough damage. Quite there we go. That's what I Oh yeah, there's a lot of them, and someone is launching missiles at me, and I do not appreciate it. Go, managed to time that, killed off all the bees with one perfectly well timed 600 power dash. And mods everywhere. Go ahead, take out all of the piggies at the bottom. And get some dash and put dash stuff done. That done. Moving. Turn around. Power dash. This guy's all about just avoiding damage. It's like you want to be brutal with it. You want to be able to use those mining picks that look so nice, but it's not a good idea. You have to kind of dance around people, which is weird. Like you expect this to be a huntress kind of move, but no. This is how this is how the miners. Oh wow! Do I have gasoline? Oh, I do have gasoline. That explains a lot. Alright, so there's only 16 enemies remaining, which means that I got enough money for all the rest of the chests on this level, but nope, not the gold one. That's okay. I was going to be able to get through the gold one anyway, unless if I picked up the uh, rocket power jetpack or the, um, or another rusty jetpack along the way. Meantime, deal with those assholes. Drop a bunch of mines on this spell. Boom, baby! done. <laughs> and we're already at I'm coming for you difficulty. This is gonna go swell. Let's 
like the stream is getting really choppy though. Yeah, it's not stellar right now. I'm a little sad. I need to continue testing. This is this is not good. There you go. Killed off all the rest of those pigs. That clay man took a lot of damage for it. Thank you for the ammunition there. And that's the great thing about the mother of many is that once you have the ceremonial dagger, she essentially is just tossing you ammunition for your ceremonial dagger for your character. Like I honestly don't care about her face. Her little piggies. Her little piggies just don't bother me. Piggy, go. And fireworks! <laughs> I never mentioned that I love mines. The mine is not necessarily the best item, but it certainly is the most fun. Now for a character that's all about avoidance, this boss is actually fairly simple. Oh, if I just farm her up, I actually will be able to get a lot of, uh, infusion kills, which will be nice. Yeah, all of that gave me infusion kills. That's nice. Not what I get. Uh, money. Oh, boy. That's not what I get at all. I would rather have gotten the leech seed. It's not ideal, but it's something. Okay, come on at me. Come on. Come on, Piggy. Spawn some more friends. There you go. Yeah, it's more infusion kills. Come on, we're already at I'm coming pretty difficultly. What more could you possibly throw at me? You're not catching up. You're just not. Oh, there's a couple people over here that can kill. Got that. And there's two enemies remaining, they're all off to the left. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted them. Okay, I did find a way to get up here. I should not have spent a dime. Aww. So, lesson learned. Miner is incredibly mobile, even with just the basic rusty jetpack. And that you should always remember that. Because if you don't, don't forget to pick up the gold chest. Which would have been, I think, far more useful than half the shit I picked up. But hey, you know what? Transfusion isn't that bad. Transfusion's okay. I'm fine with getting a lot, a, a much higher life total on a melee character. Would you stop jumping? Thank you. It's rude. Right, let's get out of here. I haven't noticed the choppiness. Okay, because I saw it on my end a little bit. I'm like, what's going on? But hey, as long as you guys haven't noticed, then that's probably more accurate. Is this Super Smash Bros? Oh, Runatic. <laughs> Uh, if you're actually serious, though, it's, uh, it's not. Uh, <laughs> this is the this is Risk of Rain, and I love it, so... It's probably my favorite game since Awesome Hunt. That's, that's saying something. Look at the dead piggy. Dead piggy. Go home. Alright, so do I farm the next... Do I farm the next difficulty level? You know what? Let's farm a difficulty level first. I have a feeling this is gonna get me killed, but I want a few more items before I go into the last level. If I can get to OP levels of farm, I'm happy. And I think I can survive here. I think that's something I can do. It's nice, it's flat, there's lots of variation. There's jellyfish though. I forgot, I hate jellyfish. At least they're not bees. That's uh, that's probably the best bonus I can think of. That's all I wanted for Christmas. Not bees. Look at this laser drone doing all the work for me. Pew pew! You're getting me some serious build. There we go. Now, is the teleporter off the left? It does not look like it. Yeah, it would have been presented a little bit earlier. A little bit more fanfare, so that's not happening. 
Alright, let's keep moving. Let's find that teleporter first. Enjoy the party mines! <laughs> dodge all these guys. That's the great thing about the miner. You can dodge people forever. You've got all the mobility in the world. Oh, right. Up there. Is there anything up there? Oh, that's like a chest. Alright. Oh, no. I really need to get moving. The Wandering Vagrants are already the, is just the tip of this little deadly iceberg. I need to get to finding that teleport as quickly as possible. Failure to do so will have me murdered in no time flat. Now, going to an earlier level is a good way to get a little bit of farm if you're already farmed up. And I think I've got a decent amount of farm. I can handle lots of little things. But uh, these are going to stop being little really quickly because we're at ha 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 difficulty. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and just activate it now. So that way we can uh, get a finite number of these little assholes first. We can't farm an infinite number of dickheads yet. Drop all that. Oh, who did we spawn now? If I see a magma worm come out of the ground, I'm gonna cry. Oh, it's a second wandering vagrant. Balls to me. Alright, laser drone, you got work to do, bud. Lots and lots and lots of work to do. Oh, Jesus. We're spawning all the bad guys everywhere. The good news is, I can play keep aways for like years. And as long as I'm playing keep away, I can always do a little bit of damage. Poor drunk taking the brunt of the bow. Using the dash to dodge the vast majority of all those lethal death balls is a good idea, I think. Uh, I'm gonna need to start killing stuff soon ish, but we're a third of the way through the time already. Oh my goodness. You know what's sad is I can probably still handle all this. Oh wow, I'm trying to cost three hundred. Holy crap. Look at all those worms coming out of nowhere for me. Now the thing with ha 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 definitely is that no matter how hard I try, there's going to be more and more bosses that keep spawning and spawning and spawning. By um, hitting that teleporter early, I'm hoping to avoid most of that bull, uh, bull crap. And I'm hoping to kite most of these guys around. So we're at 52 seconds into this. I still haven't killed really anything. Ah, crap. This is where I really wish I had barbed armor to deal with, help deal with them a little. Because as it stands, they're actually really problematic enemies, that, especially if they have an accord. And there's going to be a lot of them. With two wandering vagrants, there's bound to be a lot of jellyfish. In the meantime, I'm just kiting these guys wild style in a big circle. As wide a circle as I can make it. Yeah, that's the thing. Right now, my, my CPU just isn't very good. So, um, oh, okay, come on, do some more damage to those guys. My CPU isn't very good, so calculating all of what the different little bad guys are doing is uh, actually putting a decent amount of strain on what my computer can do, which is not the best. The poor things. All right. Oh, dear. Dodge most of that. Uh, there's more squids over there. Awesome. And boom, power! Oh, that, did they get any kills? Got one or two of them. Alright, so all the bad guys that are alive right now are going to be the only ones alive. I can handle that. Um, maybe. Let's wait for all those things to come. Alright, and time to run. Uh, I've done what I can. Once those cooldowns refresh, we'll go ahead and keep taking those guys down. Hit the chest. Oh, it's a use item for healing. It's not a bad idea, but I have a feeling that I can do well without it. If I need it, then I'll take it. There you go, some damage. And some more damage, ceremonial dagger, do your thing. Come on. Ceremonial dagger and gasoline, more accurate. Again, dodging most of the damage just by using dashes. And boom! There's a nice bit of death. I'm okay with this. 
Oh god, all the squids! Why all the squids? Why do they have to exist? Oh god! Okay. So the squids are probably my main problem right now. Why killing them all like that was probably the most satisfying thing I will do this entire run. And I'm also testing the Wandering Vagrant, which is a good way to do things. And dropping mines. Like it's dropping cards. Aw, oh, yeah. Dodging most of the Wandering Vagrant attacks at the same time as dealing damage. Killing that guy, and then running. So that's the thing. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I've had enough of those guys anyway. Let's deal with these vagrants on their own for now. And the squids. Oh, I keep forgetting that there's freaking squids! They too will pass. There we go. Now the squids are done. So all that's left is the wandering vagrants. So okay with that. And this guy. Just this guy. One little dude. Invincibility frames to do all the damage. Damage. Oh, I can probably take both these guys here now. Can't wait for that to go off. Yeah, crud. Damage them while dodging. Damage them while dodging. Damage them while dodging. That's the name of the game here. Damaging while dodging. <laughs> Using the invincibility frames to the best effect. Come on, get close to the ground so that I might blow you to the reeds. Okay, there's still two of you there, aren't there? And I was in head. Okay, come at me, wait. There we go, got both of them. On critical hit. I get some bonus attack speed. This is okay. Now it's big guys again, and this time it's big guys with a lot of HP. Um, so you really do have to try to play it as safe as possible. I'm gonna try to see if I can't push them into their friends. Or maybe you should use this. Yeah, there we go. That's one of thing. Come on, another crit. There we go. Another crit, maybe? Nah, nah, seems to be slowing down. That's the thing with this character, you don't get a lot of crits. But hey, there we go. There we go! Now I'm attacking this guy. Or at this. Come on, you get, you get by walking right to, right to the lap level. Yeah, to get this guy, you have to go to the Magma Core. So that's, I think, the fourth or fifth level. Uh, this is the fourth level. Once you get to that point, all you need to do is go to the right. If there's a little hole on the bottom right of the level uh, where there's a lot of magma, uh, then you've got the ability to go to the miner. I don't think you can get him in multiplayer. I think you have to get him in single player, so that's, that, that could be difficult. But, um, he's well worth it. He's a lot of fun. He's not hard to pick up, and, uh, he's, 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 he's a great melee character. He's my favorite melee character out of the bunch so far. I haven't tried the mercenary yet, and I did pick him up earlier, um, was it today? It was today, wasn't it? Holy shit. Jump over that. My poor drone just took a brunt, the brunt of that damage, though. That shouldn't happen. Go ahead. Dodge over. There we go. Get him dead. Uh, this is taking a little while. But hey, you know what? We're already on ha 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 difficulty. I don't think it's going to get much harder than this. With all due respect. Have a couple more people. So now that's on ha 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 difficulty, we can actually spend our time picking up chests and such, and we probably need to consider it. Let's go ahead, use that. <laughs> Mines are so satisfying. I think they get my vote for most satisfying uh, attack in the game. The engineer is great for that too, because he actually gets a mine ability, and uh, if you manage to place them properly at the beginning of a boss fight, you can do a huge amount of damage to a boss before he even has a chance to do anything. It's an achievement for getting a kill on a boss within like a couple of seconds, and uh, it's it's an engineering achievement. You need to do with the engineer, and it's just it's, it's 
awesome. There we go. He's done. Crushed. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, do some work. There we go, pick that up. Alright, so Retaliate on taking heavy damage. Alright, let's do another one. And boom! That's a bunch of them. And is that the last one? Yeah, it is. Okay, another monster tooth. That puts us at four of them. Another three, and I'll get that achievement again. Did you beat the Merc Challenge, the one where you beat the game on Monsoon? No, I have not played the Merc at all yet, so... That's why I uh, made that specific caveat that I have not played all of the melee characters yet, but out of the ones I've played, um, the Miner's my favorite. He's just so mobile. Like, it's, it's great. You get to play a very active, fun, keep-away game. Um, at the same time as being able to play a very aggressive uh, AoE game, too. Because you want to do AoE damage. Like, your abilities are the most efficient when you're hitting the most people as possible. And that is only really possible to do if you are grouping them up together, which is, like, in my nature. I explained this to Hammer Fan before, uh, when he was busy teaching me how to kite, essentially. Um, and, like, one of the more important strategies in the game uh, is to not let people group up. Because if you let them group up, then they uh, tend to have enough power to kill you instantly if you even slip up once. But... There's something to be said for making your abilities very efficient, and the Miner has that ability in spades. Plus, the fact that he's so mobile allows him to really make use of it uh, by not taking any of the damage that most other characters would have at that point. Let's try this shrine again. A Guardian Heart. Cool. Two for two. That was, that was pretty good value. Okay. Got the mines. Come and get me, bros. Point. Right, and let's just sit right outside of your range and punch you in the face. Repeatedly. Oh, wow. Go attack speed, go! <laughs> awesome. He's definitely better than Handy. Handy? You know what's the thing? Greatest can make Handy work really, really, really well. Like, I've seen him be, like, overpowered repeatedly in Greatest's hands. Um, as long as you get the kills, Handy is invincible. Like, he just does not die. So, I, I'm, I'm very reticent to calling him underpowered or bad. Because I've seen him be consistently the opposite. Come on, get dead. There we go. That's more like it. Right, and we still have 3,000 monies, which is good. Oh, cool. What kind of drone is that? Is that just a normal drone? Because if so, I'm just going to ignore it. To repair the drone. Yeah, it's not worth my time. What I want for this guy are missile drones and laser drones, primarily. Ukulele, and his music was electric. I wonder, I, I've said it before, but I wonder if that's a uh, sword and sorcery reference. Let's see. Uh, his drone skill heals him each time he uses it. Yep. Which is strong. It also does AoE damage, which is also strong. So, that's already a good start. But if you couple that with stuff like Will of the Wisp and Ceremonial Dagger, and you start getting a lot of AoE kills that way, um, you can do a lot of work. Alright, enjoy the vines! Okay, we're just gonna let this happen. Boink! Split them up again. That's probably not efficient, but whatever. We killed one. I have to admit, critting with this guy, not a terrible thing. There we go, four more enemies remaining. Where are they, I wonder? Anyway, if there's one thing that I'm missing right now, it's like consistent uh, heal over time regen. I've got the Sprouting Egg, which is nice. It's definitely good while kiting, because if you can avoid damage for long enough, it's just going to consistently work. And it's a good amount of regen. Like, look at that thing go. But uh, I, I have to wonder if it's quick enough for me to be able to survive the last level at this point. Because we'll be starting on ha 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 ha, definitely. What's my favorite item? Um, depends on the character. 
with the Huntress, for instance, who I beat the game with twice now. Um, the Huntress's best item, bar none, is being able to pick up the Wicked Ring and uh, combo that with the Mirror. You can't guarantee the Wicked Ring, but you can practically guarantee the Mirror in most runs that I've done. And uh, managing to get that combo essentially means that you can glaive everything. Just all the time. All the glaives. It's a good time. Wow, I have got four guardian, Guardian's Hearts. That's that's ridiculous. So, when you've got the glaiving all, all over the place all the time, you're killing everything. Because the glaives bounce everywhere. So, everything starts getting hurt. Everything starts getting really badly hurt. And then everything starts dying. And you're just sitting there laughing to yourself because there's nothing that the, your opponents can really do about it. Um, there was one run where I was farming for I think about 80 minutes and I got really bored. Um, but it was just, it was the easiest thing of life to do what I wanted to do. I, I could farm magma worms, I could farm colossuses, I could farm every boss in the game pretty much at the same time. All I'd have to do is pop my mirror uh, with the two wicked rings I had and I all I have to do is hold left click and everything died. Like everything died. It was really up overpowered. Uh, okay, another one of those. What does the ring do? I don't think I've unlocked it. I think to get the ring you need to get all four key cards in the final level. What the ring does is every time you get a critical hit, um, your cooldowns are reset by one. So it's a really powerful little item. It's, it's nice. Bing! Barbed wire! First one of the game. Uh, do I want to chance it? Let's try it. Nothing. Boo! Earns. Okay, we can't use it anymore. So, can we handle another level, or are we going to go straight into the final level? Uh, let's do one more level. Can't hurt. A little bit more itemage wouldn't kill me. Same works for unstable watch, especially with the double embryo. Yeah, the double em embryos are really, really nice. Um, if I remember correctly, which one's the embryo? Is that the one that reduces the item cooldown? Because if it is, that's, uh, that one's a fun item. Will the Wisp! That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, baby. Okay, so what we're gonna do is drop these mines. Enjoy. And then a bunch of stuff died. Now you're the only one that's left, eh? Let's knock you down a little. There we go, stun ya. Jump over ya. Keep my distance, wait for you to do your attacks. Jump over that. Jump, do damage at the same time, hit you. Jump backwards, stun you, and kill you. Done. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. The engineer's mines are OP. I'm not sure how I feel about the mines. They, they're they fun and all, but they're they, you do only have a limited number of them. And they're quite good, it's just... Once you're out of them, you have to wait a long time for them to recharge. Oh, really? The golden gun? Are you serious? Oh, I love that item so much. Oh, and I have just enough for this chest. That's beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. Another barbed wire. I'm okay with that. Alright. Should we farm another level or should we go to the last level? Eh, why not? Let's farm another level. Get a little bit stronger before I go into the last level. I want to be able to really enjoy myself. Uh, did it have to be the Sky Meadow for the last time, though? Damn it. Sky Meadow's gonna be brutal. It's all big, tanky things that want to kill me. Like, it is by far the hardest level for the miner. Except for maybe the Magma area. The Magma area is tough. But, uh, parents and children are particularly painful, so I'm gonna need to play this extremely safe. And it's like all parents, children, golems, and pimps, and wisps. That's all this level is. Oh, bullshit. Speaking of parents. That one golem just took all of that. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got here. $944 chest. Holy shit. Um, Alright, oh, shit. There's squids here, too. Damn it. We really do have to find that thing as quickly as possible yet again. I, I can't infinitely farm here either because squids. They are the toughest enemy that you'll face. Um in some respects, because they'll be right on top of you and you really can't do anything about them and they just will deal damage to you at the end of that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to weave my way through these guys, bob and weave. Um, see if I can get a fully charged charge on these guys. 
Yes, I did. Okay, that helped. So, timing your charge is a good way to do things. There you go, dodge his shit. Dodge this crap again. My poor drone isn't, though. Like, he's just not moving. He's like, I want to shoot him! I'm like, no, you, you really don't. Oh, this is really shitty. There's the unstable watch, which is nice, I guess. But, uh, the rest of it's something I really don't necessarily want. I'll pick up the unstable watch, just so that way I can have something other than the mines. The mines are good and all, but the unstable watch would allow me to crush for years. So if I can group people together in an unstable watch, I'll be great. Yeah, oh, Jesus, I couldn't even avoid that. Range of these guys. It's through the roof! Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, that just hits all the time. It never misses. Parents and children all over the place. Boingy. Oh, there's the teleporter too. Great. Okay. Hitting that and going down. Who did we get? Ancient Wisp, where is he? Dodge that. Come at me, Impy. Okay, I dealt some damage. That's okay. Oh, this is gonna get really crazy really fast. Oh, that's a lot of them. Yeah, I don't want them to group up any more than they have to. So, let's go someplace else. Keep running. Oh, and you've got kids! Awesome. But some of you are at lower ish HP, so let's go ahead and see if we can't make something happen here. Nah, it's not happening. Alright, out we get. Oh, I do not want to be down here in that corner. However, this is pretty funny. Those squids, on the other hand, are not. Let's get away from the squids. Okay. Now, I don't even know where the wisp is. Oh shit, I just realized this is a dead end. Um, okay, time to run. Time to run really far, really fast. Whatever means necessary. I just used all three of my mobility items to get out of there to group it up a little bit more. But let's get out of here. Okay, so we got all that stuff there. Shoot down there. Whoop, jump over that. Jump over that guy too. Go over this way. Oh, baby, there's a lot of stuff here, too. But hey! This is everyone's favorite brain! <laughs> if you guys weren't here for the earlier part of this playthrough so far, I had a brain that actually ended up being a really good uh, use item for a long time. It was a good time. So, where the freaky hecky hecky is that this? Is he upstairs? Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Alright, so I've made it through 60 seconds of this so far. Uh, it's obviously been longer than that in real time. Because, you know, reasons. But, that, jump over those, and dodge back down here again. Alright, whoa! Uh, hi! How are you? Making a terribly racist joke there. And boom! Did a little bit of damage to all of them. Oh Jesus, dropping some light. Stunning those guys as they dodge away. Once again, showing that I got manly pro skills. Look at all those guys up there, holy crap. If I can survive, if I can get in there, this will be a really funny, funny thing. Honestly, the watch does way more damage, it really does. I just need to get the money to be able to get the damage out. Uh, let's be able to actually pick it up. Once I can pick it up, we'll be good. Oh, Jesus. Alright, stand ahead of those guys, and lots of squids on me already, which is Fandango, I guess. Huh. <sighs> Jump away from those guys, and time's up. Over, blow, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity, 111 enemies. Jesus. Okay, so you gotta work out for us. I'm trying to get all the squids to follow me first. Charging them in one big group is kind of gonna be necessary. There we go. So that's one way to do a lot of damage. <laughs> wow. Alright, can we do that a second time? Is that a thing? There we go, got rid of a few 
two of them. Wow. Okay, so Will the Wisp plus Ceremonial Dagger is where it is at. Jump and dodge and bottom weave. There we go. I can handle that guy. He's not too tough. That was amazing. Went from 110 to very few, but a lot less. <laughs> so I got Teddy Bear. There's two of those Teddy Bears now. The Teddy Bears are arguably one of the better items in this game. Being able to reduce incoming damage by 14% per Teddy Bear is really nice. Boom! Go for the big hit. Stun him. Hit him a couple more times and run away. Again, jump over that. There we go. He's done. All right. Let's get rid of the hard stuff first. That would be the hard stuff. Okay, to take care of the hard stuff, let's get a different use item. Which is going to require me actually getting rid of some more hard stuff, so... Let's deal with all these assholes. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I did that very wrong. Ow, I took some damage there that I shouldn't have had to. Thankfully, I've got shield. So, that's always good. Uh, what do I do here? Jump over. Backwards through them. Away. Wait for the cooldowns a little bit longer. Now, go in for a fully power charge. Oh, and then... Boom! Go for a blast. Get some more damage. Go for a stun. Go away. Let the cooldowns come back. Jump up. Do that thing. And turn around. Get the super hard charge off. Go back immediately afterwards. Go in for some damage. And then uh, try to keep away. There we go. Kill him. Drop the mines because I can. I've got the time. Done. Now I can lure the rest of these bottom heads into this. So come on, chills, children. Come see me. Get crushed. There we go. The weird thing about the children and the parents is they sound kind of like glass when you break them. Yes, I did say break. Them. <laughs> okay. All right. Play safe around these guys, as for usual. It's really easy to get overly cocky um, against these slower characters, because you're just like, oh yeah, whatever, they're slow, they can't do that much. And then you realize that they still hit like trucks no matter what stage of the game you're at. Okay, so there's that. Now let's pick up my, f my watch at long last. There we go. Awesome, 20 more seconds I'll be able to take out that fairly large group up there. Oh, uh, it looks like I'm already making headlines. Okay, so we're just gonna let this Tesla coil do its thing. And maybe kill this guy that's trying to get off me. This guy's just jumping around. He's all like, look at me, I'm gonna hit you in midair. Yeah, good luck. I promise I'll kill you first. Alright, so. Boom! Do some damage, and then back up. Wait for my cooldowns to come back up, and then I'm gonna really make them hurt. Alright, here goes. Oh, I did way too early. Way too early. Out I get, out I get, out I get, out I get. Oh, that was painful. That was a big mistake. <laughs> I forgot that it freezes them in midair, too. That's okay. I should still be able to handle these guys fairly handily. Because of Will the Wisp! Look at that go! Holy crap. Boom. Look at all that pain just going on. Wow! Wow! Okay, that was really cool. I should really stay more quiet. There we go.
It does freeze the game time, yeah, which is good, but at this point the game time doesn't matter anymore. The difficulty level is already at the top. It has been for some time. There we go, put up some damage. I took a lot of damage in the game time, though, so that was a bad move overall. I need to play it safer, because if I keep playing like that stupid, I'm going to get myself killed. Oh wow, you guys are still down here? What the hell are you doing down here? There you go, he's done. What's in here? Oh my god! Uh... Key? Uh, I really don't want to spend a freaking thousand on a shrine. That seems like a bad idea. Let's just go ahead and DPS this guy as much as possible. Oh Jesus, I'm doing my own- ow. What the hell? What the hell is doing all that damage to me? Are those red ones dropping mines on me? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh my god. Holy crap, that's super lame. Okay, so these red ones are, like, brutal to me. That is not fair. Ha, <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. I'm gonna deal with these guys first, because I can deal with imps and wisps a little bit easier than those big guys. Want a co-op? No, the red one just trails flame under their feet. Yeah, okay, so then why was I taking, like, mind damage? I wasn't, de I wasn't doing anything. There's... No, is there anything out there? There's a couple of parents and stuff. Are there any chests up there? That's important. There's still 54 bad guys. This is just... I'm just ex Like, this is taking a while. Alright. And boom. Okay, so... Uh, 404 HP, 407 HP. So that's a lot of guys. Uh, let's go ahead and see what other items we can throw on first. Why is the game running in slow motion? Because my CPU can't process things. <laughs> it's pretty bad, actually. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing at my CPU like that. Oh, hey, there's a bad guy down here. He's not even a really scary one. He's just kind of there. Um, that wisp, though. Oh my goodness. Okay, there are a lot more bad guys down here than I initially gave them credit for. Okay, I'm picking up one of these health regen things. And you're gonna enjoy it. Come on, let me up. There we go. Alright, so a little bit more health regen is gonna help a lot, I think. I hope. With the Sprouting Egg, I should be able to come back up to normal fairly quickly and then try to take on these guys. In the meantime, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing okay. How's the stream quality going anyway? Like, is the stream quality itself alright still? Because I changed the settings and hopefully it, it works. Um, after this run, I might be trying to stream awesome knots and test it. Son, there's a lot of shit going on there. Oh, there's two ancient wisps too. Fantastic. Wow, they are so mad. Look at them go. Good news is they can't get at me, so I'm just gonna enjoy my time here. <laughs> that is a lot of bad guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. No, I 
Shields up again. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Whoa! Okay, I did not expect to kill everyone quite like that. That worked out okay, though. The Wisp is the one that I really have the least um, knowledge of dealing with the Miner. Most of the time as the Miner, I end up getting like the Magma Worm and someone else. Can I just sit here and deal damage? Is that a thing? Oh, I think that is just dealing damage to my poor, poor laser cannon. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's go up here. Do what I can to these guys in terms of DPS. Okay, and there we go. That was a good amount of damage. Oh, wait, hold on. There you go, kill off that one child, and then got back down here. Woo! Alright, jump up. Let's go ahead and be smart players. Doing twice as much damage is fun! Got rid of one, and now there's like a million wisps. There we go. Oh, cool, I got a. Legendary spark. I don't exactly know what that does. I think that's if I get hit, lots of electricity comes out. Which is potentially the most useful item I can pick up. Uh, but there we go. Is there a third ancient wish around in here? Yeah, there should be. I don't see another HP bar, but I saw purple lightning when I should be. So I'm very skeptical. Oh, hey, there's a couple golems down there. I suppose we should kill them. So those ancient wisps ended up being a lot of fun, actually. They were, they were not that hard. Just took some time to do, that's all. Both of these down. Thank you, DPS, for being awesome. The, the one that increases your attack speed on crit is really nice, actually. That item. I swear I'm seeing purple lightning. Where's it coming from? So let me put this down here. I'm gonna try to group them up here. Like that's the most important thing with a miner is trying to group up everybody, so that way your stuff is really efficient. Um, and then just playing to your advantage at that point of being able to dodge everything. All right, so everybody's here. Everybody's here. Good. And then I'm away. Okay, I should definitely do that the other way around. Uh, wait for my cooldowns to come back. Jump to the left. Right click. Go this way. And then turn around and superpower charge. Boom! Get some attacks off. And then call it a day. Money everywhere. Turn around. Boom. Do some damage. Do some more damage. Kill some stuff. Oh wait, those purple lightnings are me! Ah, oh, it's me being hit. That's uh, that's what the uh, legendary spark does. That's pretty cool. I am the legendary wisp. I'm the reason why this purple lightning. Poof. Okay, now it's just you fiery bastards. Okay, you know, How much extra damage am I dealing right now? 21 extra damage every time I smack because of the golden gun? That's nuts. Now, if only I had more than one golden gun, that would be beautiful. There we go. Nah, I can't click it there. Whoa! Impy went on me. Boom. 
to get a couple of those. Oh. Yeah, I'm not having much trouble taking out these guys anymore. This is a good sign. I might be able to farm the next level decently well. I'm not sure if there's a lot of... Like, if there's a lot of bosses, I might not be able to Considering how many of these assholes there are. Holy crap. Granted, the majority of these things came out of, uh... Hitting the teleporter. Like, that's where the majority of these things spawned from. But I... You know what? Now that I think about it, yeah. I'm just gonna go to the final level. There's not much more I can do. In terms of farm. Oh wait, I can just sit here and take him out there. Let's do this! Right click! Oh Jesus, one of them got him. Nope, you dead. Okay, good. And then I get to DPS the shit out of you. What of those numbers pop up? I can do a lot of damage. Holy crap. Do, 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 So, yeah, Sam, you know what's uh, hilarious? I actually beat the game with the uh, sniper earlier today. It was straight up the funniest thing I've done. There's one crit, come on, more crits, more crits! More dots! Come oh, on, my poor laser is taking the hit of it. Come on, I'm getting done, son. There we go. I will use my time stop on here to save my drone some time and trouble. Done. Very good. Now let's appear. Yeah, my poor drone's really badly hurt at this point. I need to be super careful with him. I don't want him to die. Okay, let's get out some more pew and then pew and the pew pew. Let's see if we can group up those rock golems at the same time, and then I'll take him out at the same time as this big parent here. Group them together. Kill that thing. Hello. Okay, yeah, that drone is seriously hurt right now. Ugh. I really don't want him to die. He is a massive investment of money. I can pay him back, but I think it would take up a lot of my bank to do so. Am I just right clicking this guy? Got my level. You? Holy crap. That's hilarious. Oh, that hurt a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I could have died there from my own minds. Oh my god. Alright, well, I got a lot of money to burn, and I didn't find any more chests, so... Oh boy. <laughs> I got a lot of money to burn! Picks up more money. Cool. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Mo money. Mo fake money. Alright, uh, do I do another level, or do I do the final level? Final level it is. I'm done here. Final level's already gonna be hard enough. Let's, uh, let's not tempt fate. 